It's Two Minute Tuesday. Last week we talked about what was the best ammo for your slingshot and there were some interesting questions and comments. So today I'll show you how to tune and match your ammo to the bands by using a simple common item. Matching the ammo to your bands is very important when you want the best performance from your slingshot. Last week we field tested two different types of ammo and found that the larger the more heavier ammo crushed it every time and the smaller and lighter ammo fell short and also caused hand slap. So let's get started tuning your slingshot. The type of band really doesn't matter when it comes to tuning for the average everyday shooter's slingshot. There are more considerations if you will be shooting for competition or hunting. But today we will focus on the average shooter. We will first start by measuring your draw length. In a previous video, we talked about the draw and the anchor point. This is the point where you bring back the pouch with the other arm fully extended and locked into place. The distance from the slingshot to the anchor point is measured by using a tape measure. Grip the tape measure with your hand that you would hold the slingshot and use the other one to draw out the tape. Now use your thumb to point to the tape measure and hold it there. This is where this will be your draw length. We will use the average sweet spot of 500% elongation from the band which works well with tubes and flats equally. My draw is 30 inches, so I would divide this by 5, which is equal to the 500% elongation. This equals to 6 inches. We will add an additional half of an inch for attachment to the forks. So the overall length for the, for the tie-off point of the slingshot to the attachment point to the fork is six and a half inches. This will work well with all band types, regardless of ammo size. The last part of tuning your slingshot is the ammo size. I put a list in the description of what ammo size should be used with what size bands. With the slingshot I'm using today, it is three quarters of an inch wide band and so three eighths inch ball should be used for optimal performance. There are some other considerations and factors involved here, but they are negligible for the average weekend shooter. Bands and tubes react a little differently, but the number of bands or tubes is a factor as well. The greater the number of bands, the greater the force needed to pull back the pouch and the more energy that will be transferred. The general rule here is, the greater the force of the larger the ammo, using lighter ammo, either smaller or by weight, will result in hand slap or fork hit. Here's a quick tip. In last week's video, we discovered that it is no cheaper to bite marbles versus steel balls. It is pennies difference, so find yourself a good deal on the bulk stuff if you are so inclined. I purchased 500 plastic reusable 3 8 inch balls for 2 cents each. That beats 99 cent store or Wally World. I'll put a link in the description so that you can check it out. Tuning your bands and selecting the right ammo for the types of bands you are using will give you a more enjoyable experience with less hand or fork slap when shooting. I have placed a list of the items I have used in this video today in the description below. Also, I have included the links for some of the items for your convenience. Please like and share this video with a friend and also subscribe to this channel. Since you're already there, go ahead and click that bell icon so that you can get notified of any updates. Let me know in the comments section below what was your favorite part of this video. And if you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below as well. I'm Berlin Birch. I'll see you next time.